the top 10 most popular foods in America. Excited to see what we got with this and see what the most American popular food is. I see which ones are your guys' favorite. Before we do get into this, appreciate if you guys do hit that subscribe button. Let's see what we got. The first thing that comes to mind when you think of American oh. cuisine are classics like burgers, okay. fried chicken, hot dogs, hot dogs and yep. pancakes. Like many things. Wait, they ain't pancakes? Hold up. <laughs> Pan <laughs> They're pancakes? Like many things American, the cuisine also has influences from elsewhere. German, British, Italian, Dutch, French, okay. and Caribbean oh. are only some of the cultures that have contributed to the food that is now considered typically American. This is going to make Here's me hungry. a roundup of popular American foods that you will find across the country. Right. Today we know about top 10 most popular traditional American dishes, which is you need to try. Okay. Let's begin it. Number 10. Number 10. Buffalo chicken wings. Mm. Although you know what? We do uh, like have a lot of chicken wings in the UK. Like people do love chicken wings, right? Obviously. But we don't really have too many like buff buffalo flavor ones. Like I know we do somewhere. Because I've definitely seen it on the menu somewhere, but yes, it's not that common. Created in the 1960s, these fried chicken wings doused in a cayenne vinegar hot sauce, okay. buffalo sauce, are ubiquitous bar snacks. Buffalo chicken wings was what, what, what? first served in the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York, and are now one of the most popular bar foods. Buffalo chicken wings. I don't think I've had buffalo chicken wings. I actually don't think I have. Number nine. Is it hot? Yes, oh, we love tater tots. You know what? This, this is like potato. Oh, I, I, you know what? I've seen it and I've seen it in movies and stuff. Like people say, oh, let's get some uh, tater tots. French fries too, but for an American variation on the traditional thud, you okay. have to try tater tots. These grated potato. potato mini balls, which are cylindrical in shape and fried with a crispy exterior, are found in breakfast spots. Fast oh, they would be banging to be fair. So it's like just fried potatoes, so like potato with crispy edges. Food joints and diners. They would be banging, bro. Yeah, I'd like them. I know I would. I know I'd like them. Number eight, hot dogs. Of course. Nothing complements a summer cookout or a baseball game better than an all-American hot dog. Although the creation is credited to the German Charles Feltman. Wait, what, what on earth is this? This is a hot dog? I've never seen a hot dog on a stick wrapped in cheese. Is that a thing in America? Who used buns to serve German sausage. And uh. salsa referred to as Frankfurter or Frank to save on plates. It was Polish immigrant Nathan Handworker's hot dog stand Nathan's on Coney Island that turned the hot dog. I don't know what kind of hot dogs these are, bro, but they, I want them. I want, I'll try it. Listen, I just, I've only had the hot dogs, like the standard hot dogs, just like the hot dog in a bun and you pour the toppings on. Into a national icon. There are regional variations of it. For example, New York style with ketchup Jeez. and relish and Chicago style served on a poppy seed bun with abs. Do you know what's boring about the UK though? It's like, we just have basic hot dogs. So like, we wouldn't have this in the UK. We wouldn't have this in the UK. We wouldn't have this in the UK. We'd have this. So we have the bun, the hot dog, and pretty much the standard is tomato sauce, mustard, and onions. That's pretty much as, as far as we go with hot dogs. New York style with ketchup and relish Boring. and Chicago style served on a poppy seed bun with absolutely no ketchup. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, what? Uh, what's going on? I was going to say, yo, my OCD's like, you, you, you're you not cut in the middle. Really no ketchup. But what is this? I have never seen a hot dog done like that before. Where you cut out the inside and you pull it in. What? I, oh, they look good. Yo. Now, this is a standard hot dog to me, bro. But we don't normally put salad in ours. Number seven. Apple pie. Apple pie. You've we have probably apple heard pie the phrase here. as American as apple pie, and it's not without reason. Right. Probably the most iconic of American foods, apple pie was first introduced in the States by British and Dutch immigrants. Okay. However, over the years... Wait, so it's American as apple pie, but it came from the UK, British, friend. <laughs> What if you guys just transform it into America somehow? But yo, no, no, no. Listen, all jokes aside, apple pie is very, very big in the UK. Like, it's very big. A lot of people do eat apple pie. It's been transformed into a distinctly American food experience. Oh, really? Typically served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh, that just looks good. Apple pie is good. 
the crispy outside and the sweet and oh yeah it's good it's good number six Barbecue ribs. Mm, Barbecuing food has been one of the country's oldest traditions and has now evolved into an art, with barbecue fanatics and lovers all over the country partial to their favorite styles. Oh. But whether you like Kansas City's hearty offering... You know what? I went to a place in the UK and I got some ribs, man, and they were so dry, bro. Like, sometimes you will get some nice ribs in the UK, but a lot of the time they're just dry. Memphis wet ribs or North Carolina's vinegar base. One thing we can all agree on is that barbecue in America is definitely something that brings out a lot of passion. Okay. They do look good. They look good. <laughs> they look so good. Number five. Reuben sandwich. Oh, the classic I've heard of this. Beef, Swiss cheese and sauerkraut sandwich is synonymous with American delis. There might be debate it's about whether beef, this right? was invented in Nebraska by a grocer named Reuben Kulikowski. Yeah, corn or beef. Perhaps I like the this. brainchild of Arnold Reuben, the German owner of New York's now. I do like corned beef, bro, and I've seen this in a vlog before. And yeah, when I seen it, I was like, oh man, yeah, I'd probably like that. Closed Reuben's delicatessen, who came up with it in 1914. But either way, this sandwich is an American staple. Yo, but you know what's crazy though? Like, I know I've seen it in the vlog, but I didn't know like this was a popular food in America. Like, I thought like, let's say we were going to include a sandwich in this video. I thought PP and J sandwich would be popular. You know what I mean? Because I never heard of a Reuben sandwich before that vlog. I think I would like that though. I ain't going to lie. Number four. Biscuits and gravy. Of course, a biscuits southern and favorite. gravy. The original biscuit was brought to the country by the British, and the sawmill gravy was created as a cheap huh? and filling breakfast option in the food-strapped colonies of the South during okay. the Revolutionary War. The biscuits are traditionally made with butter or lard and buttermilk, the country gravy with meat drippings and usually chunks of fresh pork sausage and black pepper. Yo, from what you guys have said about this, I cannot wait to try it. Like, you guys have big this up massively. Nowadays, biscuits can be found with all sorts of ingredients. Bacon right. and chive combination is a popular one. See, to me, this does not look pleasing at all. <laughs> But <laughs> from people's reactions eating it, and you guys uh, talking about it, I never judge a book by its cover, man, because apparently this is really, really good. Number three, meatloaf. Comfort food at its best. Most American meatloaf. households will have a family recipe for their version. All right, so I've, I've obviously known the meatloaf. Uh, I didn't know it was like a very popular food in America, though. It's in just like a load, of, like a loaf of bread, but meat style. <laughs> Typically, it involves ground meat and seasonings okay. made into a loaf shape, either using a loaf pan or hand shaped, okay. roasted, and then topped with sauce or just ketchup. Meatloaf will usually take Americans right back to their mother's kitchen. Do you eat it by itself like that, or do you have some with it? Oh, it does look pretty good, to be fair. Oh, you just eat it by itself like that. Number this two, pretty good to be fair. grits. The first time you try grits, grits, you probably wonder what the heck it is. Bro, yo, I've seen it in a couple of videos and I'm still sat here thinking, what the heck is it? <laughs> like grits, bro. For those who grew up eating grits, southern US, it's something they can't live without. A dish made from coarsely ground corn kernels, grits can be extremely ver- Ground corn kernels. What even is that? Without. A dish made from coarsely ground corn kernels, grits can be extremely versatile. Typically found in savory versions, they can also be made sweet. A classic dish is shrimp and grits. Isn't that shrimp? Yeah, okay, shrimp and grits, okay. But grits are also a popular breakfast item in place. So is it corn? It's something from corn? It's a boat meal. Any which way, they are extremely satisfying. Oh no man, I'll definitely try it at some point. Not the shrimp now, I don't think I like shrimp. Number one, hamburger. The of popularity course. of the hamburger and cheeseburger of in the course. USA is indisputable. Traditional, gourmet, fast food with oh. bacon sliders, with oh. green chili, juicy oh. Lucy style. Oh, the list man. of variations Stop. and toppings is infinite. If there is one food You're that we have to me. Pick, burgers have to be the most American of them all. Right, okay, obviously. Listen, whatever you say, like, you can go up to anyone on the planet. Like, I know burgers came from Germany, right? Right? 
But if you go to anyone on the planet and you go, yo, what food do you think about when you think about burgers? They're probably going to say America. Or if you say, what do you think about America food? They're probably going to say burgers, you know what I mean? I would love to try a burger in America, man, because I've heard good, good Thank things you. about it, bro. I've heard so many Brits go into America and just saying like, yo, whatever you think about food in the UK, like America's just next level. You guys know me, man. I love my food, so I can't wait. I don't think I'll ever leave when I get to America, man. But really good video. I'm definitely going to need to get some food now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash LFreedomG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I do live reacts and also. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.